Hi guys, my name is Cherry V. Welcome to another edition of Cherry V Sundays. I don't know why I feel the need to put up a V every time I say Cherry V, but you know, some of you don't know me yet. So, you know, making sure you're getting it right. It's Cherry V and not Cherry B or Sherry Vina, whatever. Anyway, welcome to Cherry V Sundays. <laughs> right, today I'm going to do a Q&A session. I asked you on my Instagram to submit some questions. I said, make it deep, make it interesting, make it, take it there. And um, let's have some fun with this. Um, so you guys have sent me your questions in. Thank you so much for everyone that sent me questions or things that you wanted to know about the little redhead cherubin. And I will answer them as honestly um, as I can, as I can, as I said. All right, so first question is, let's get to it. Um, you work hard, what drives you to get that work done? Um, first of all, thank you for acknowledging my work ethic. Um, to be honest, I actually genuinely enjoy, enjoy um, having a schedule full of artistry stuff. Um, when I say stuff, I mean focusing on putting out content for Cherry V, writing, creating, telling my stories. Um, I definitely... Um, um 95 percent responsible for the for the music that you hear in terms of writing um it's very personal it's very um intense um and um it's like therapy for me the driving force behind that is just i do fully believe in myself um i do have my days where i think fam you're just not you're you're, you're, you're not the ting fam don't 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 you know just relax <laughs> And I just enjoy it. I, guys, I genuinely enjoy taking a story that I've gone through from my heart onto a record, from a record onto, um, for you guys, and Spotify, Apple Music, all that stuff. And also in a visual form for you guys to see exactly what I'm talking about and to kind of get you on my page, see where I'm at. And also one of the people, things that drives me is having managers who um are relentless in believing in me um i've never had um managers who believe in me as much as 6060 music do um so that really helps me and i do think sometimes i have actually said to them i think you're mad <laughs> to believe in me for this time for us to still be trying to make certain things happen but that's uh, a big driving force and i also want to make them proud and make them um just turn around to me one day and be like i knew it you know right next question what made you decide to make singing your career i'm a hundred percent surrounded by musicians my family's very very creative and um, my mum's a singer she only sings gospel now she used to sing secular music pop music um dance music back in the day it's always i've always been encouraged you know like some people say that their parents of their family struggle to kind of like um, see them doing music or um, allow them to kind of pursue that with other things that they want them to do. I've always been encouraged to go down that creative route. Um, and that's been a very uh, important part in my journey. Because obviously if you're always encouraged to, you know, grow and, you know, and water that part of your garden, then you're going to stay there and flip in, dig out the weeds and make sure you plant the seeds in the right bit of soil. So I think I am trying to preach. Writing my own music as well at a young age um, and the feeling that that gave me to express my feelings and to turn that into a song and just to feel that aha moment afterwards um, just made me think I can actually do this. Uh, your darkest day and your best day in the music industry. My darkest day. Do you know what? I have to say, I always go back to when... I got dropped from my first major uh, record deal. Oh my goodness gracious. I thought the world had ended. You know, like, you know people say, like, somebody has to come to your house and pick you off the, up off the floor. That is how I felt. Like, it was so peak. I was in a group situation, and they didn't drop every single member, but I was one of the members that got dropped. So I was like, right, this is a great way to feel like I'm not good enough, but hey... I, it took me a while to kind of get back, you know, 
into the swing of things. I just need someone to let me know that this is cool. Like I can actually survive as a solo artist, or if I just want to go into songwriting or whatever. Like, or if I want to go into another group, like I could be, I'll be okay. So that was probably my darkest day in the music industry. Best day. I think because of how hard it is to kind of manoeuvre as an independent artist, I think scoring a top 20 hit with Lethal Bizzle, The Drop, um, was definitely um, a big moment for me because um, it's just that little... I don't know, is it like seal of approval or is it like... um, box ticked or you know having something that's charted or writing something that's been charted um and being uh, given the chance to feature on something um by an artist who's a very very notable in the uk and beyond um so yeah having a top 20 with lethal was uh, definitely a big moment for me as well what's the dream goal just to be able to do me 100 percent Nothing else, just Cherry V. Singing, touring, um, creating, releasing music, and just being able to concentrate on that solely. But to just to be able to do Cherry V stuff all the time, 100%. Um, first song that really meant something to you as a child. Um you know what i remember one song that i just could never ever get out of my head as a child um and it's a stevie wonder song and it's not like the popular stevie wonder superstition and all that stuff it's a stevie wonder song called these three words um and i think because um in my younger younger years i wasn't very expressive um with my emotions um and that song if you listen to it um very much talks about like just sharing what's on your heart and just being expressive and my mum used to play it a lot actually and just just the vocal and just the music and everything and I remember just hearing that song when I was younger thinking yeah that's like touched a place in my heart as a young little little and as a young girl what's been your biggest struggle battle with today's music industry listen yeah the list goes on um i think my biggest struggle is the fact that um talent is secondary now um numbers are more important than talent and i feel like i struggle with that sometimes it feels like some things are not fair um but nothing that's for you will pass you by 100 percent. but sometimes it feels like this is a little bit off balance this scale um I was impressed by your acting skills in Fill Me In. Thank you. Um, ever thought about... Ever thought, <laughs> ever thought about pursuing acting as well as music? Well, wow. um, 100%. I'll let you guys into a little secret. I actually... That was the first goal. That was the main goal initially, to be an actress. I went to Brit school. Um, I majored in drama um, because I just felt like that was going to be me. But I felt at the time... I couldn't let go and be emotionally vulnerable enough to grow in that area at that time. I remember thinking back to so many things like monologues and character building back then and I just couldn't, there's something in me that was so guarded and couldn't let go of um, that really stunted my growth as a little budding actress and music always came so easily but at that time it was secondary for me because it was like drama and I was doing work as a professional dancer like I was doing my GCSEs and I was touring at the same time I definitely am pursuing acting now um I've just finished a a term at Kingdom Drama School um I've just been casted into a film um which I start working on soon and um a couple of other skits and stuff online and I'm going I'm going for it now is there anything in your career you wished you hadn't hadn't done? <laughs> there are a few songs that I feel like I wish I hadn't put out because they were so deep. But regret is a strong word. But at the time and the way that it was done, um, because the pain was so raw, was very intense. So maybe I could have gone about things a different way way do i wish i hadn't have done it or do i wish i had of done it differently singing is all i know but i have horrible stage fright how do you 
combat against your fear. Let me tell you something. I kid you not, and I may not look like it on stage, but my nerves when I, I go to perform are absolutely in, insane. People don't understand, like, bef- bef- right before they're about to call my name, I actually want to run out of the door because I just feel nuts. My legs shake. Like, I had a gig the other day. Not even, it's, no, it wasn't even my gig, but Sincerely Wilson had his headline show. Shout out to Sincerely Wilson. And we have a song together it's called Situationship. And I only done that, had to do that one song that night. Babe. You see, when I got on that stage, yeah, my legs were doing that. I don't know what it is. It hasn't got easier with time. And the only way that I can combat that, don't jump too much out of your comfort zone when you get on the stage. Just trust yourself and lean on your ability and remember what you can do. Surely this is a silly question, but empire or power? I love both. I love both, but I love the storyline of power a bit more. But I love Taraji in Empire and I love the dynamics there, but I guess the storyline of power for me always lashes me. I'm like, <gasps> like, but Empire doesn't really do that for me, I guess. But I love them both, so I can't choose. But power, obviously, for a man like Ghost and Dad, get me? Have you ever been heartbroken for real, for real in your relationship? and kept the relationship after and why 100 percent. i really believe in life that um somebody's wrongdoing doesn't always make them a bad person and i say that because i believe that it's up to you how much you want to forgive everyone has different tolerance level as well um and not to say that I feel like, you know, you should be a doormat, blah, blah, blah. But your forgiveness is nobody else's business. Like, wh- what you choose to be forgive is not really anyone's business because it's what you're living with or what you've decided to tolerate. And I think for me, any time I've, you know, been heartbroken and forgiven, it's because I can still see the beauty in you even though you've done me wrong. And how about you're not the only one? How about I've been that? the heartbreaker as well and how about you've looked at me and seen the beauty of me and chosen to forgive me and carry on pursuing this relationship Kano or Stormzy um it's always been Kano before Stormzy Stormzy's great dark chocolate but Kano for me before from back in the dizzy was a wizzy hello hello okay um if not doing music what do you think you'll be doing i think i'd be a chef you know i actually think i'd be a chef because i feel like when it comes to presentation i don't know if that's part of me being a creator but when it comes to presentation and stuff i'm just like i'm all the way here for it but i'd be like some gourmet chez lazé chef of some caribbean meats cuban meats english cuisine because those are all the makings of me english cuban jamaican (laughs) yeah so that would be like my team what song do you wish you'd written i always go back and say i wish i wrote thong song do you know why yeah because deep it it's the same verse three times yeah that damn like a chuck 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 guys i what 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 baby but 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 let me see it again three verse Three verses of the same thing, fam. That is simplicity at its finest. Are you going to make a video for all life long? I didn't, yeah, I didn't actually make a video for that one. I done some short clips online, Instagram, to kind of get the vibes popping. But, you know, never say never. You never know if the, if the demand becomes very strong. At the moment, there's no plans to. Thank you so much for your question. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me answer some of your questions um as many questions as i could get through as many questions as i could answer without chatting for like an hour thanks guys until next week cherry v sundays cherry v in the house <laughs>